Joplin is offline while Notion is online. What are the other differences? This is Joplin versus Notion. So let's get into it. Both are note taking apps to write your thoughts, to do and reminders. Joplin is offline so it's mostly used for personal stuff. It's a markdown language app with two editor interfaces. One is where we edit and the other is where we view the note. It has a few quick tools on the top but for most you'll use the markdown syntax. Notion is online so it needs an internet connection and it has collaboration built in. The program is overall more advanced because of its blocks. Every new paragraph is a block and it supports over 50 block types. Those include text, media, documents, tables, apps and even databases. With its power you can create notes, documents, wikis, databases and galleries. Its nature lets users add blocks inside of blocks to create and manage databases. We can create a directory of our clients and under each client we can add information about them. Notion also has views to see the data from another angle. If you master views, you can get rid of multiple apps including Google Sheets, Trello and Todoist. For example, a table with the date column can be seen on a calendar. Similarly, if that list has images, we can see them in a gallery. Editing is where both are different. As Joplin is a markdown language app, you must type in the proper syntax. A link to the official guide is below to see the markdown guide. Notion has quick text editing options. We find tools above each block when we highlight it. It also has blocks for headings and lists, making it easier to add and edit content. Third party support is another diverse option. Joplin has plugins while Notion has integrations and widgets. Joplin plugins add additional functionality such as tabs, Kanban boards and journals. Those over 170 plugins are free and created by the team and community. Notion is integrated with other apps. The list of apps is hard to find but many apps support it. The program also supports widgets that are called third party blocks. If a block type is missing in Notion, just look for the widget and embed it. Some widget examples are weather, whiteboard and charts. On the same note, I want to talk about AI. Notion AI is powered by ChatGPT that can generate, improve and translate text right in the note. It's free to test but you must pay $10 monthly to benefit from it. Joplin isn't as powerful but it has a plugin titled Jarvis. Jarvis does not have the ChatGPT features but it's an AI plugin to communicate with your notes and make your life slightly easier. Notion also has templates and it has many amazing templates that show its true power. Everything I talked about until now can be seen in its templates. For inspiration or quick setup, templates are a great resource. From simple to do to productivity powerhouse, there's a template on every topic. Let's talk about synchronization and collaboration. It depends on what type of person you are. If you like saving notes on your device, Joplin is for you. If you want to access notes everywhere, Notion is the one you need. However, when things are online, privacy and security concerns are raised. That's the reason some users like offline apps. Notion has auto-sync and collaboration features and you can add up to 10 guests to work on projects without paying for anything. Joplin also supports cloud sync but you will need one of the third-party storage solutions and you will need to set it up. If you like to collaborate on Joplin, it has premium plans that offer end-to-end -end encrypted syncing across devices. Pricing is another factor to consider. Both are free but have premium plans. Joplin has cloud sync to sync between devices and collaborate on projects. Notion has multiple plans to suit individuals and teams. The free plan is good enough for small teams but paid plans are needed to collaborate on large projects. So which one is for you? Many things are considered to answer this question. First is of course the offline versus online battle. Some believe that companies see customer data so they prefer offline apps. However, when we look at the features, Notion is more advanced and powerful note-taking app with project management and documentation features. So if you are into features, Notion is for you. 
Also, if you are in a team, then I'll suggest Notion. But for individuals, Joplin will work great too. With that said, thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. See you next time. Take care.